When I first found him, he was as big as my thumb. He was just a day old. He looked prehistoric. He was with no feathers. He had a little bit of fuzz. He had some high winds and it blew the nest out of the wreath. I cupped him in my hand and kept him warm and I just watched for the mother. I never saw her come back. He'd been out there too long and I brought him in. I googled how to rescue a baby bird, how to feed a baby bird. I didn't think I could keep him alive. It was touch and go. He weighed 14, 15 grams. We had to feed him every 15 minutes. I had to make little noises at him. I try to poke him and touch his beak and, until he opened his mouth. He started getting stronger. In the morning, he would just open his mouth and start peeping at me to get fed. He looked like a tiny dinosaur. He put on grams, two, two grams a day. He started getting little pin feathers. feathers came in. He started flapping his wings and getting stronger. I took him outside a lot. Honey. Honey baby. He started flitting back and forth from me to the cage. day that he flew away, I was feeding him on the porch and he flew up and was gone and I thought, oh, he's gone now. Um, that afternoon he came back. <laughs> he would fly to me and sit on my hand and I could feed him. I used to say he was yelling at me. He'd see me come out the door and he'd always yell at me. It was just amazing. He would come five or six times a day and he'd fly away when he was so, done. See, there he goes. And then I put a bird feeder in my garden and I saw him for a couple days. Then he's just stopped coming. I'm still amazed that I raised him. It's hard to believe that I did that. Like, comment, and subscribe.